So on my last trip to New York, I stopped by a souvenir shop. So I wanted to see what they had, maybe get some ideas of what to 3D print. And this popped into my head. Um, have you ever seen the I Love New York t-shirts? This is kind of reminiscent of that. And I said, hey, why not make some out of my 3D printer and give some to some of my friends? So that's what I did. I created these and I created a few others. So if you stick around, I'll teach you how to make this, 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 and this. Okay, so here we are in Affinity Designer. I'm gonna click on 1080p. I'm only using this as a CAD program that I'm gonna export SVGs from into Tinkercad to extrude these. So I'm gonna click Create. I'm gonna come over to the Artistic Text tool. And I'm gonna click and drag. That determines the height. And I'm gonna type in my friend's name. Christine with a K. And then I'm gonna drag this a little bit further down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna, I downloaded this font from the font. I'll put a link in the description so that you can download it and follow along. So the text is called Sunday Chilling. And here we go. And then once this is done, I'm gonna click on Convert to Curves up here. If you don't see this, it's because you're in the Node tool or something else. Click on the Move tool, click Convert to Curves. And now this is a bunch of curves. If I click on the Node tool, you'll see. These are all a bunch of curves in the shape of letters. They're all one group. I don't want them to be a group, so I'm gonna click, right click and click on ungroup. And then I'm gonna come up here and click on one of these five buttons. These are kind of like your Boolean commands in other programs. So you click on add, and then that's gonna create one curve in the shape of this name. So now that I have that, I'm going to change the color just to just so that I have three different objects in different colors so you could see it better. It doesn't matter, the colors don't really matter. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate, okay? And as you can see here, it's two, two, um, two curves on top of each other, Control Z. I'm gonna change the color of this one too. And then in order to give this a background, I'm gonna click on the contour tool. And then once I have that, click I'm gonna go up here and click on one of these circles and drag to the right boom good okay and then what I want to do is I want to bake appearance that's gonna make the the outline into a curve boom there it is okay so now what I want to do is I want to press control and um, drag the scroll wheel up and that's gonna let me zoom in. So now we have these notes at the center of the, the background. I don't want these. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the no tool command and then click and drag. And then I'm gonna press delete and that's gonna delete those and do the same for the rest. And I'll see you once I finish. Okay. And now that we have it here, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna give it an outline around. And the reason I wanna do that is because it'll give it a little bit more structure once we print it. So I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna duplicate and then I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna duplicate it again. And that's because I wanna subtract the background from the outline so that it has its own edge on the inside and on the outside and that's so that it helps us extrude it better in Tinkercad. So now that I have them, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna change the color of this one and then I'm gonna go back to the contour tool. I'm gonna click and drag. Boom. And you can see it has also some issues. So I'm gonna click Bake Appearance and then I'm gonna delete these and I'll be back once I do. Okay, that should be all of them. So now, if I click on this and I drag it using the Move tool, you see it's all one big 
curve. I want a curve with a gap in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control Z and then I'm gonna select this one and this one and I'm gonna click on XOR and that's gonna delete the middle background part, boom. And the reason I duplicated is because I wanna, I want this one to remain. If I would've just used this one, it would've deleted this one as well and I would've not had a background. So now I have a foreground, which is the letters, a background and an outline, control Z to put it back. And then what I'm gonna do is in order to export these, I'm going to hide each one and export them separately. So file export, SVG, and then I'm gonna name this one FRG. One, because I already had another one. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest. Okay, so here we are in Tinkercad. I'm gonna create a new model. So click Create, 3D Design. And I'm gonna click Import to import the SVG. Choose File. And I'm gonna go to where I saved it. And I'm gonna bring in Background first. And then it's gonna give you this because uh, it's bigger than a thousand by a thousand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click 50% here and remember that number because it'll come up later because we're gonna import three SVGs and this error is gonna come up every single time. So now that it's under a thousand, it's gonna allow, allow me to import it, so import. Good. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other ones. Okay, so now that we have all of them in, you see the reason I wanted to have these be separate objects is because I want this edge to be the defining edge between this and this, because this is gonna be smaller than this one. So I'm gonna click on here. Actually, I'm gonna select all of them and I wanna scale them down. I, wanna, I want it to be about, I wanna say about four inches and four inches is about a hundred millimeters. So I'm gonna click and drag, but be careful. If you just click and drag, it'll squish it. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold down shift and now it's a uniform scale and we wanna bring it down to about a hundred. And I'm gonna bring it over, boom. And I'll be honest with you, I just noticed I'm using it in Firefox for the first time. It is a lot smoother than using it in Chrome. So I recommend using it in Firefox now. Okay, so now that is four inches, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna click away so that I deselect everything. I'm gonna select the background, click here, and I'm gonna bring it down to three. No, I'm sorry, I wanna bring it down to four. This one I'm gonna bring down to three. So I wanna click on the background, bring it down to three, three, millimeters and it's going to give it kind of like a one millimeter difference here and then this one i want to i want to make a six so i'm going to go six millimeters good so now we have this one a little bit higher than this one but this one higher than everybody else so now what i'm going to do is i want to create a loop that where i'm going to attach the key ring so i'm gonna i'm gonna drag it here so that it is there um, is the work plane is this so that they're all at the same level and then I could drag it on top of it It doesn't really matter. So I want this to be about six and This to be about two these are the inner walls wall thickness and then that's the radius of the actual object So boom and then I'm going to click on top because I want to see it from the top so I can align it I want to click on this button to switch it from per perspective to orthographic Boom, and I wanna move this in place. It's gonna be right there. And then what I wanna do is I wanna come in here 
and I want to bring this down to three millimeters so that it's flush with this. And now that that's done, this is basically done. I'm going to go back to perspective. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to click this button right here. Group. And now this is one object. Before we export it, we should change the name to keychain. And then I'm going to click export. I want to click STL. That's usually what you bring in to your slicer software. And it's going to download it. Good. So now I'm going to open this in Bamboo Studio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the STL that I just downloaded, drag it in here and boom is in. Okay, good. So now what we want to do is we want to, first of all, we want to use the four colors in the AMS and I only want to change. I want this to be red. I want the outline to be red. I want the letters to be red, but I want the background to be white. So it's just as easy as leaving it as is. And then when I click on here, color painting, I click on the fill tool and then I'm going to click number four, which is the white boom. And then here, and that's basically it. I want to click escape so I can get out of the painting tool. And then in order to print it, the only thing I change is the strength. So I just click the infill pattern from grid to gyroid. And then I'm just going to slice it. And it says it's going to take 49 minutes and 39 seconds. Print. And then I'm going to click send. And I'll see you in about 50 minutes. Oh, hey, thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. And if you're a continuing subscriber, thank you for your continuing support. And I hope this video was fun. And take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Peace.